Good morning, Cyber Traders, and welcome on our first day of July. Good to see you all. Good morning, everybody. All right, Gene, good to see you all. John, Mark, good to see you. Boons, everyone. All right, good, guys. Let's just get started right into it. It is the first day of uh, the month, and uh, hopefully everyone had a great, great weekend. It was gorgeous here in New York. Unbelievable heat wave. Looks like we're going to continue it going into this week. And we know that what's going on into this week is it's one of the biggest holidays of the year here in the United States. We have the 4th of July, and it is falling, unfortunately, on a Thursday, which means it's going to be a very, very, very short week. Uh, let me just raise up my volume. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. Hopefully that sounds a little bit better. So with the, uh, with the short week we got going on, you're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, you, you should get some action today and tomorrow. Wednesday, you should get a little bit. I expect it's going to be really slow on Friday. So, um, you know, like I said, I hate holidays for this one reason. I know it's fun. It's nice to know we have them, but it just takes a whole bunch of days to make up for it. It's not just that one day. It's uh, it's all the other days that take uh, that, that spill into it. But it is a new month. Hopefully everyone uh, did their homework. And remember, when you do your journals, uh, when we teach you how to do your journals here at CyberTrade University, biggest thing you have to focus on now is, are you ready to go to the next level? Were you consistent last month in the month of June? Um, did you make money? Did you lose money? Uh, did you make a lot of money? Um, did you get lucky on some trades? Were you very consistent? Because remember, this is how you progress and go to the next level. You can't do your anal uh, you can't analyze yourself until that month is done. That's the best thing that goes on. Now, regarding what happened on Friday, you know, we had a couple of stocks that did make some big moves. I do want to keep the back, on, and we're going to go through some of the stocks. Like I said, there are a few stocks that are moving in pre-market, not a lot. Typical for a Monday morning, especially the first day of the month, and also going into a big holiday. But uh, just talking about what happened on Friday, we had a couple of good stocks. This KAR was actually pretty cool. Um, very sad to see a stock go from like 65 down to 25. Talking about a, a, a catastrophe. But it did have a nice little dead cat bounce. I know some of us did pretty well on it, and it is going to make my watch list. You know, um, be people over the weekend were analyzing and see what they're going to do. But uh, that is one hell of a haircut right there. Very, very sad. Another one that made our list was MLNT. That one had a really, really nice push. Another stock got destroyed was about in the seven hundred dollar price range if that if you could believe that all the way down to six talking about a catastrophe well stock had a nice push on friday um i probably will continue <clears throat> excuse me uh probably will continue into this morning not a big big winner but um you know, this is where you learn how to do some swing trading or some leap trades on an options. You might not sit there and want to be married to a stock and what we focus on day trading. But, you know, maybe you can say, you know what, I'll take a shot at six dollars. What's the worst thing could happen? Maybe I'll throw uh, throw some uh, some uh, some poop on the wall and see if it sticks. And we'll do it this one right here. And you know what? It did a little bit this in the morning. And you know what? Still holding strong. Maybe uh, maybe it's a little bit of a comeback. But we'll keep an eye on that one. Real was another one that did really well. Uh, came right back down and went right back up. It was one of the IPOs right there. And the CD, CDMO, another one had a nice little push uh, right out of the gate at 10 o'clock, ran from 440 all the way to 560. Now, there were a couple of stocks that we, do, do, we did do pretty good on our swing trade. Uh, the I don't know what happened with Uber, but Uber just took off. Uh, let me just bring that up. I typed it in the wrong window course uber just kind of really took off on friday and finally uber really broke out of its shell a little bit it broke all-time high so we're doing really good on that uber trade on the swing trade uh chewy is another one that we did a little bit of a swing trade on that one too and uh that one made a bit of big comeback after it did a little bit of reversal so we're doing pretty good on our swing trades. And you know what, guys? Check your 401ks, too. I don't know if you guys are looking at some of your pensions. Um, and that's obviously a totally different market right there. But we obviously heard what happened in China. I told you that on Friday when we talked about it in our meeting. And, you know, you saw what happened uh, with, with the, with the, uh, the G20 meeting. So market's really, really strong. I mean, we're almost literally going to be almost breaking all-time 
a, a highs on the Dow. I think we've got to get to, what, 27,000? Let me tell you, listen, breaking the Dow is no different than a stock breaking all-time highs in the stock market. When you break through that major resistance, you know, sky's the limit. So uh, everything looks pretty good right there. Ababa did a uh, did nice $5 gap today. Very, very nice. Uh, and Alibaba. Yeah, I mean, they're, like I said, the market is doing is doing great for all of us. And listen, <laughs> at the end of the day, why are we all here to make money? So uh, you want to hear good news, not bad news. You know, the only, ba only bad news out there is for people that were – that we're expecting it to come back down and maybe buying it back cheaper. Listen, <laughs> you got to be in it to win it. You know what I mean? You got to be in it to win it. And people look at trading and, it, and they're like, oh, you know, they want this negativity, whatever. But you know what? You got you, you can't analyze it. You just got to run on the train. And you know what? If you miss 20 stops later, you miss 20 stops later. Just keep running with it. So the market's doing great. And, uh, you know, and if it keeps up, and if everything like they predicted, if they lower interest rates and everything else, I'm telling you, you could see a, a thirty thousand, a thirty-two thousand dollar, thirty-two, uh, thirty-two thousand Dow, and I wouldn't be shocked. And uh, that's and and that could happen. <laughs> that could happen. All right. So what's going on this morning? There are a couple of stocks that we could keep an eye on. Uh, Micron was one of the stocks I'm moving in pre-market. Stock moved pretty nicely uh, right around seven o'clock this morning. Really not a big big winner, but it, it was okay. EEUM, another one. I saw a little Fausto flag on there, but I don't know what happened. She kind of really much died out. Uh, I thought it was going to make a little bit of a pop right there. You know, it's up about 10%, 400,000 shares traded. Great iceberg orders, though, if you look over there on the matrix. Uh, big sellers at $3 and three oh five. What else we got? TIGR, Tiger. That one's gapped up pretty nicely. I've taken a big, big hit. Uh, with a pretty new IPO right there, went to 22, way down to five. So you could probably get start. Maybe the, st the stock found its base. You could see it found a little bit on Friday, and it's kind of spilling over into today. So that one's not bad. Uh, NPTN is another one that I found. Now that one also gapped up, but she kind of stopped. So you know, it you got buyers out there. You got an 8,000 share buyers sitting there at 590. Not a really a lot of sellers. A lot of 500 shares, 100 shares. You know, but we do got some 1,900 shares at five, uh, 8,000 at at 509. So it, it does look pretty strong. You can see the big support level. So a little bit of a fan of this one, but I want to see what happens until the market opens up. So I'm going to sit on the sidelines right now. Uh, a E um, I E A. This stock got destroyed from seven all the way down to two. So if you're wondering why it's up, a little bit once again, dead cat bounce right there. But uh, but she did back off a lot. When she gapped up this morning, when she went from two all the way to three forty, she's back down to two fifty, which is kind of weird. So, I want to see what happens right there with those big buyers on the bid. And once again, we have to wait and see what what happens when the market opens up. So, as of right now, you're sitting on your hands. The T A R, like I said, I'm gonna put, I'm, uh, the K A R. I'm putting that back on the watch list after what happened on Friday. Uh, get stock getting destroyed, and I'm also keeping the M L N T on there. So, not a lot. As in pre-market goes, and it's typical for a Monday morning. So, but there are a couple of things, and you know, listen. The only the good thing going into this market opens is the market's up. You know, I'm not a big fan trading opens when the market's up so much. So we have to sit back, and unless you did your swing trades, you're doing great. But as a day trades, we have to see if anything else pops up on the on on the radar. But as of right now, it looks kind of uh, kind of stale. All right. Anything I'm uh, anything I'm missing? I did not call out. Anything I'm missing, guys? I didn't call out. All right, I think that pretty much does it. Now, guys, I know we have a lot of new members that are starting Cyber Training University here. Um, most important thing I just want to remind all of you is make sure you talk to Education Advisor. Uh, I can tell you right now, you're probably going to be very, very confused as much as you think you know how to trade, and that's okay. That's a good thing. So you know why, what's going on. But remember, don't look at the instructors or myself. Just look at the other traders. See if they're making money. See, you know, you heard us do the talk to talk, but let's see if we can do the walk to walk. And that's what, the only way you're going to know that is see what the other traders, are, are how they're doing. And, um, you know, and feel free to contact us and talk to, your, you know, our, our staff whenever you want. Because uh, remember, as much as you want to trade doesn't mean you could. And uh, this, this is your opportunity to find out the real truth about it. And fellow traders, 
Let's, let's just show them how we do it. If you see something, say something, all right? That's why we're here all day. Thanks, everyone. And, uh, ooh, happy birthday. Uh, whose birthday it is? Happy birthday, America. It's coming up in a few days. <laughs> I, by the way, my anniversary is coming up in two days, too. So I got to take care of that one for my wife. <laughs> but I got to go out and buy something nice. All right, guys. Good luck. Happy, happy trading, everyone. Yeah, that's right. It's Canada's birthday. Almost forgot. Happy birthday, Canada. Congrats, everyone. Talk to you. See you at 2.30.